I'm back. You guys know what to do to that like button. Right now. I'm sure you guys heard the news in regards to what some are calling Drip 2.0. Where basically this faucet function is not going to work anymore unless you are participating via Drip Drop Draw. So, will the faucet work? Yes, if you are participating via Drip Drop Draw, which means... You are either sacrificing drip, BUSD or BNB to get tickets, or you're entering drip drop draw with fresh BNB or BUSD, or you're using drip. And we got, you already know the tokenomics behind this. A portion of that is going to go for the 10% rollover. Um, a portion of that is going to go to the jackpot. And then... A 1% is going to go to marketing and then the rest is going to go to your faucet stake and that's going to pay you the 1%. So the 1% for my knowledge is still going to you're going to have to participate via drip drop draw which in turn is going to bring more fees to the protocol and that's what we want because we saw and we got a chance to experience and measure the results of drip drop draw in regards to how it controls the amount of drip in the wild, aka in people's wallets, and how much goes into the tax vault. Which, matter of fact, let's look at that real quick. Because when we got drip in the tax vault, we don't have to mint drip, and that slows down the inflation. Uh, right then and there. So, yeah, wait. I forgot it doesn't populate sometimes. Like, these numbers are super low. I ain't gonna lie, I haven't played in a while, too. I think I played, what, last Monday or something? So, uh, that's basically, that's basically, uh, and then we also have some sort of drip staking game where it's going to provide us a lower yield maybe it might be 0.5 or 0 0.5 instead of one percent uh where you're going to pair drip with bnb and generate a yield that way so that's going to create another use case or utility for drip and that's an attractive yield if it, i'm not saying it's going to be that it might be something lower than that but if it was that the next question would be, are are we going to get paid in BNB? Are we going to get because if we're getting paid in more drip, then that means we have to sell drip. So I, I don't think Forex would do that. Um, I just don't know because we, we it's like we got information, but there's still some things we don't know. But something like that is going to make drip attractive, which in turn also is going to make DDD more attractive because people have a chance to win even more drip to put in said other utility. And as and this and this is like deja vu because we've we've specifically spoke about this uh, maybe a few months ago of another utility that we need to pair maybe a couple months ago to pair with drip drop draw because now drip drop draw is going to be a utility that could potentially get you more drip and pay you out one percent because. At first, it was the faucet, which you can interact with and get the 1% without participating with DDD. So this, these new implementations are actually going to make DDD more attractive because the 1% yield is still going to be attractive. Because that's still high yield. And if they make the new BNB drip liquidity opportunity a smaller yield, then that in turn is going to still make DDD even more attractive because it has a higher yield. But that higher yield is going to lock up drip at a 99% rate and it's going to slow down inflation and it's going to create uh, a larger amount in the tax vault. Y'all see how that goes? 
So just these things alone is going to make DDD more bullish, which in turn is going to make the the drip BNB thing. Not saying that's going to happen, but theoretically, sp hypothetically speaking, uh, it's going to make that bullish because then you can use drip and you don't have to worry about getting you or your or anyone else because we got these phantom uh, uh, participants and and we see weird stuff going on with the price. We don't know who's doing what, and rightfully so. We're in crypto, but. You'll know that people are getting paid out in BNB, so we don't have to worry about that uh, uh, craziness when it comes to the price. Oh, people are going to start dumping drip once they get their uh, what you call it. So basically, we 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 have two utilities that we're using drip, but we're not spending drip. You see what I mean? Because then once you get your one percent back per day or per whatever, you could take that one percent, pair that with BNB, and then earn more BNB. I'm just, I'm, of course, we, I'm going to keep saying this because I'm speaking like it's happening, but like this is going to happen. But these are just rumors of, of, of things um, that are in the works fairly quickly within the next what week or so. Um, so with that being said, I say that to say that I'm excited about everything that's coming down, um, uh, coming, coming our way. Of course, you see, I almost got a thousand drip. At four cents, it's worth about forty bucks, or give or take. Let's see if this uh, website populates. So we might have to refresh. That's annoying. Uh, matter of fact, let me just go back here, and then come back here again. All right, that didn't work. Let's refresh. Basically, I was gonna show you guys the um, uh, what is uh, what the amount is worth, but it's not showing me right now. Or it's just okay. Here we go. So thirty six dollars. So, is it worth eating that tax to try to uh, sell this right now? No. Even if it didn't have a tax, is it worth it trying to sell this right now? In my opinion, no. Because I want to get as much drip as I can to participate in the new projects. And $40 is not worth me selling a thousand drip. So, that's, now that we got that on out the way, let's go to the next, the next exhibit. Uh, let's go to the next point. So everybody has their strategies of what they're going to do. Of course, we do know people are selling, uh, but Forex also is going to make it to whereas, and remember, either I think it was in my last video or the video before. I mentioned this, but this is nothing that nobody knows. This ain't no revolutionary talk, but Forex is damned if he do, he damned if he don't. And that's any dev, but more so Forex because people just had this thing, this thing for him. Um, like I see people complaining about this move, even though we were headed to headed under, under one cent. So people would have complained, Hey, you should do something. And then when he do something, Hey, we shouldn't do that. Even though what he's proposing, there's a 100% chance. Nobody else has a better idea and there's a 101% chance that they don't have a better idea that they can implement within a week. So now that we got that on out the way, if anybody think they can, then do it within a week. We'll wait. That's what I thought. So now that we got that part out the way, let the man cook and let's see what we come up with. Because people are complaining, well, what's going to happen to the people who already invested? Like, for example... And I know I'm going to butcher this, but I say this stuff so you guys can correct me in the comment, sec comment section because I know half of y'all getting off on doing that and the other half of y'all salivating right now trying to do that. So I'm going to say some stuff and you can correct me if I'm wrong. I got 58,000 drip claimed. Forex is going to make it to whereas we're going to get reimbursed drip that hasn't been used and drip that's in our available. So let's just say I was supposed to get 42,000. I'm thinking that that won't happen because of the whole well tax mechanic. So I'm going to tax at 40, 50% or whatever it is. So I doubt it will be for the 42,000 plus the thousand or whatever is going to be by the time these things get implemented. Or I could be wrong. But there's people complaining about that. It's just like, I feel like, you know what? I feel, I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm dealing with my nephew. Like, I feel like I'm dealing with a child when I see people. It's just Because it, we got grown men doing things that a five-year-old girl would probably say. Why can't we do this? It's just like, bruh, there's no, like what he's doing right now is the best case scenario. 
That's why people, the people who are complaining don't have any solutions or their solutions don't make sense. This ain't no riding competition. This ain't no jocking. I'm just saying, I'm just stating what's facts. And then you can get in the comments section and tell me not. Don't tell me anything based on emotion, though. You got to tell me if you do, you got to back that up with something that makes sense. Some type of something I can measure because I can't measure. I don't want to measure your emotions right now. So tell me what makes more sense than what he's doing. Because Forex could come out here and say, yo, I'm going to take some money out of my own pocket and get everybody $4,000. Don't you know people are going to say, but what about the people who blah, blah, blah? It's like there's nothing you can say. Because that's probably going to be more than what your faucet is worth. It's just people are going to complain no matter what. And it is, it's kind of crazy. At this point, bro, anybody who's thinking like that might as well just quit. Nobody's keeping you here. You can move around and do what you want. Because at the end of the day, is your complaining is not going to stop anything or change anything. That's why it's a waste of time. And you actually make yourself look bad. So I'm not going back and forth with anybody. Uh, but I will allow you to post uh, your comment. And if I don't respond... I'm just, I don't, I don't owe your response. I don't care. He's scared. That's why you respond. There's nothing you can say that's going to change my mind. So now that you know that, don't waste your time. At the end of the day, that's what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I, let me check my other wallet. Cause of course I got a couple more wallets. I didn't go wallet crazy. Um, which I could have, but I didn't do it. So I got another account with uh this is my new this this wallet just uh what is it called this wallet just max um uh, i think i maxed it like four days a week ago or something like that um but 1300 in this one well this is might worth like 50 bucks yeah 50 bucks so i can get like 100 dollars out of here but you know i can use it and yes i can use 100 dollars, but i don't want to i don't want to not at the expense of selling this drip now yeah you a, you a fanboy you a moon blah 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 People say that about everybody before some people were saying that about the hex guys before they got before they got paid. People are saying that about the Zen guys and Zen only been out for a year, which it took hex what two years before it got to that point, which is I ain't gonna even get into all that. Uh, people were saying that about all kinds of people and all kinds of projects. And the, the funny part about this is people know that like, you know, that that the same the same guys that are blowing up at other projects, people talk about them. And because you know that and you still participating in the thing that you know better than to do. That's emotions one on one. We're not doing that. I'm not doing that. So let's just say I was going to get 81, I mean, 91,000 or whatever the number, whatever the number is back. I'm just I'm just going to be stacking all this drip from these three wallets. My third wallet, we were pushing maybe five thousand, uh, cause that's basically all I got. Just so you guys don't think I'm, whatever. But, um, you know, whatever we get, whatever we get from this is what we get. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I don't know if it's going to be based on the deposits or what. It could be. I'll let the man figure it out, because he 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 he. They're doing the math in the background. That's why math is, uh, they encourage you to have a strong math background when it comes to coding and stuff like that. I took a couple classes like 10 years ago. But um, I'll let them handle that, man. I'm an investor and I just want what's best for the community and what's best for the projects that I believe in. Of course, there's some other things that I want to uh, talk about and there's some other projects I plan on jumping in. Um, you guys already know the animal farm, blah, 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 but, uh, yeah, that's basically it, man. Cause I want to, I want to get back into making daily videos or at least buy daily videos every other day. Um, but I need reasons, you know, I need reasons. I need things that I can measure. I can say, okay, this, this project is doing this, this is doing that. But until then, and then we, I think we got up to seven cent at one point of time, a couple of days ago. Uh, and then people saw, oh, yeah, I'm about to sell. And I don't blame them. I, I don't do the wallet watch. I don't got time for that, man. Like, I don't, I just, man, I really don't care what other men are doing with their lives, whether it be their money, their lower half. I don't care about none of that. That's just the kind of man I don't care. 
I don't care, man. Like, unless somebody doing some exploiting, like, unless somebody from the community exploited and then we got to figure out who it is, that's different. But if somebody got 10 wallets and they sell it from 10 wallets, then the contract is letting them do that. So they ain't they fault. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to chase no dude around on the internet. Nah, I'd rather... If, if I'm going to chase anybody, I'd rather chase a woman around on the internet. If if I had my preference. I'm not going to chase no man around on the internet. I'm not doing that, bro. I don't care what y'all say. Oh, well, 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 he doing something wrong with the community. Like, man, that ain't my problem. Like, I'm not going to be the... Because... Det- what it really... I'm, I'm What it really is, is it's really about making money on YouTube. That's what it's really about. With some of these content creators That's what it's really about And the money you make it Is not worth doing that In my opinion Maybe it is Maybe four or five hundred dollars Is worth it To to chase people around the internet. It might be worth it It's just not worth it to me um, Cause you're just not gonna get That many views in, in crypto I, I run YouTube channels I know this I can sit around And, and really flex this To five hundred dollars a month On YouTube But what's the point of doing that I gotta make a video Every day I gotta give you a clickbait title And I gotta sensationalize stuff And it's just a waste of time You know what I'm saying But people like that stuff So I More power to the guys Who make that kind of content Cause you're feeding You're feeding An audience that wanna be fed So I can't hate on that either But at the end of the day That's what I'm doing uh, Basically I'm not selling any drip I'm waiting to see What's coming around the corner I know more people are bearish about what's probably coming around the corner, but I'm not. So make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the like button. It's icy, and I'll see you guys on the next video.